You can craft some amazing weapons in Cyberpunk 2077, including the Baixing Smart Shotgun that we actually saw in that weapon trailer before launch. Well, it's a ton of fun to use and totally wrecks everything. Like this weapon is really amazing and I will tell you how to get it in this video, share some crafting tips as well and way way more. So if you like that then a like on the video would really help the channel out and let's go. Let's immediately take a look at this amazing bashing smart shotgun that just easily takes care of any enemy in front of you. You will see the 8 bullets like on a target so it hits multiple body parts as well. The rounds of course home in on the target as well. They deal massive damage, a lot of blood and gore will appear too. So also when two enemies are just standing close to each other a few shots will easily take care of them. And you can fire four times before you have to reload with a pretty cool animation. And because you shoot eight rounds each time you fire, you will also score crits very frequently with this weapon, like more than the 30% crit chance would suggest. We also got almost 125% crit damage, 10% bleeding chance, and you will see that in action in a second. It's really, really nice. The headshot damage multiplier is, of course, also nuts. As showed you before in previous videos, you can pop the Sandefistan Cyberware to enter the slow motion state and that increases crit damage by 15%. So then crits will happen even more often. And it's also super satisfying to see enemies getting ripped apart by this gun with the time slowed down. So totally a nice Cyberware to get in combination with this smart shotgun. And I will leave a link to a video talking about a katana that also tells you how to get this Cyberware in the pinned comment. So yeah, you want to get this amazing one shot or sometimes a two shot killing machine. It also deals some serious damage to psychos and it's on the hard difficulty by the way. And here you really see that bleeding effect do its work with massive damage over time. And let's not forget that it's a smart weapon of course as well. So when perfectly placed you have bullets go to the target even when he is like behind cover or when you are behind cover. Of course, you will need a smart system cyberware for that. And in previous videos, I talked about a free one you can get from the The Gig mission. But Roland now notes in the comments under a recent video that when you then use a smart weapon against the Tiger Claw members, the bullets will actually like fly everywhere but not on the target. So we kind of got tricked by using this tattoo, meaning that you want to buy a regular smart cyberware at a ripper dock to fully use this amazing shotgun. And to get it you actually need a crafting recipe that you can access after having finished the game, for as far as we know at least. No story spoilers of course, but the final boss will give you an access card that is needed to open a case with the schematic inside. And I want to thank Comrade Christian for sharing this with me via Discord. I have a Discord channel by the way that you can access via the pinned comments. Because we actually already went to this location before finishing the game. You actually go here already during the chipping in side mission that I talked about in my Johnny Silverhand item video. But you can actually already go here before that point and you don't even have to finish the chipping in mission to get the weapon. It will be a little harder though. You will need the reinforced tendons lack cyberware so basically the double jump that you can get at like any or most of the ripper docks in the game i showed you this location already before so once you got that installed and also have an os that lets you do a quick hack which is needed to open the door to get to the secret room then you're ready to go and i will take you to the secret room right now so the secret room is over here in watson there's actually a fast travel point nearby as well as you can see the docks so when you get here, we want to go to the right, so this way. And if you already completed the chipping in mission, then you can actually enter via this door. And you will see footage of that right now, they can open it. But in this safe, I haven't completed the chipping in mission yet. So then you can either like go through this front door if you have enough body, or you will need the double jump here. I'm just shooting that camera, it's not needed or anything. But yeah, you use the double jump here to get over the fence. There we go. And now you just run. I'm just going to ignore all the cameras. And then I'm going to the right here. And then we want to get in here because you can't really go through there. So then we go this way.
And then we want to go up here, hope. And there you will actually already see the secret room that you can then enter. Like, you don't have the authority, but you can actually remote deactivate. And then you can open it. And then you are in the uh, secret room. Where you actually find some other, like, weapons here as well that you can pick up and disassemble if you want. Some rare items too. And this is the... Yeah, the box that is locked right now. But again, if you complete it, the final boss in the game, and then go here, you should be authorized to open it, and then you can get the amazing shotgun. Although you do, of course, need to craft it first, and for this, you need technical on level 18. So really, at some point in the game, you want to focus on spending all your attribute points on the technical ability, because many awesome weapons are hidden behind crafting and require you to get the Edge Runner Artisan perk, which is locked behind technical ability level 18. So once you reach that, you will, of course, still need the crafting materials, but that is really the easiest part thanks to the duplication glitch that is still in the game at the time of this recording. Or you can also disassemble some weapons of the epic rarity. You can, by the way, also turn rare crafting components into epic ones, which is nice. And that is thanks to the tune up perk. So totally unlock that as well because... You'll really need a ton of these epic components for any legendary weapon. Another tip would be to save before crafting the weapon because there will be different stat rolls on the item. The stats and the order of the stats will be the same, only the percentage can be different and it's pretty significant. Like compare the crit chance and crit damage to the other version of this weapon we crafted. So yes, it is quite a grind, especially getting to technical level 18, but really getting there will open up a ton of possibilities with many legendary weapons that you can then suddenly craft. And I showed you a nice XP farm you can do before the I Walk the Line main mission, and if you have sided with the Fudu boys during that mission. Some of you noted that the enemies were sadly not there. And well, that seemed to be linked to the choices you made during that mission. But I will look at other ways to level up fast. And showcase more amazing weapons very soon here on the channel. Of course, if you found cool things in Cyberpunk. Let me know via the input at giraffe.com email address. Or in the comments of this video. Subscribe for way more Cyberpunk content. A like on the video would really help me out. And totally check out that previous video on the Johnny secret items that you want to get. Where I also touch on that chipping in mission. Again, not needed, but you want to do it anyways for some really cool loot. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.